Hi there, I'm Chris from Katana. If you're a small manufacturer looking to simplify your business workflows with easy sales fulfillment, visual production planning, and live inventory management, then you've come to the right place. Let's get started. When you log into Katana, the first thing you'll see is the sell screen. The sell screen is the main dashboard in Katana and it lists all sales orders while providing an overview of their statuses. Tracking orders is a breeze, and the information displayed here enables you to know when to buy materials, when manufacturing orders are almost done, and when new sales orders are ready to be fulfilled. Sales orders get into Katana in one of two ways, via an integration with an e-commerce platform like Shopify, or by adding new sales orders manually. This will take us into our new sales order view, where we can enter our customer and the products that they ordered. From the order view, we can see if the product is available, if it isn't, it will simply display not available, and this lets us know it's time to make more product. Katana is built with two types of manufacturers in mind. It supports both make to order and make to stock workflows. So if you're a business that has make to order workflows and you don't carry product inventory, you can select make to order in two ways. Either select make to order in the sales order view for each line item, or, from the sell screen, click the Make to Order button for any sales order and this will schedule production for all products required by that order. Notice how the sales order's production status updates automatically. Now let's go through Katana with a Make to Stock workflow. This is for you if your business produces in bulk and carries product inventory. Let's head to the Stock screen to help us determine what we need to make. The Stock screen displays all items in your inventory. Each product in inventory shows stock on hand, the quantity expected for manufacturing, and the quantity committed to sales, all of which are updated automatically. We can set reorder points for each product to maintain a certain level of safety stock. The missing or excess amount shows the difference from the optimum stock level. Red indicates that it has fallen below this level and it's time to make more product. By selecting Make at the end of each product row, you schedule production for the missing quantity in just a single click. We can also schedule production for a make to stock order from the plus button at the top menu. Let's head over to the make screen. The make screen is where we manage our production schedule. It contains a list of all our manufacturing orders in queue. All manufacturing orders that are make to order are permanently linked to the sales orders that they are created from. Notice how they are grouped together by the sales order number. Make to stock orders are not linked to sales and therefore do not show customer information and are not grouped. The make page allows you to track the availability of materials for each manufacturing order and purchase any required material in time to avoid stockouts. Your production schedule can easily be reprioritized by dragging and dropping. Order priority in the queue affects material availability. Therefore, orders closest to the top reserve all available materials in stock first. Let's take a look inside a manufacturing order, or MO. An MO contains a recipe of all materials required to produce the product. When material availability shows as not available, it means we need to order new materials from our supplier. Required materials can be purchased directly from the MO card using the plus buy quick add. This creates a purchase order for those materials. You can also create a purchase order from the plus button at the top. Just select buy materials. You can manage your production process in detail by defining step-by-step -step operations for each product. The MO card displays operations that can be assigned to resources like employees or workstations. Your production team can then use the Tasks view in the Make screen as their to-do list where operations are grouped by resource. These operational tasks can be marked as Not Started, Work in Progress, or Completed, which also affects the status of open manufacturing orders. Heading over to the buy screen, we can see a list of all open purchase orders that we created earlier. When the materials arrive, we can mark them as received and then they are added to your raw materials inventory. Let's go back to the make screen. Since our materials have arrived, we can put our manufacturing order to work in progress. On the sell screen, a completed manufacturing order changes product availability to in stock. This means it's ready for shipping. You can change the status to packed, which reserves it from stock for the order. When you mark it as delivered, it closes the sales order and displays the order as complete. The order is now fulfilled. 
Congratulations, you've now completed your first order in Katana. Hopefully this is the first of many successful order fulfillments with Katana's Smart Workshop software. To learn more, please check out our knowledge base for more articles or see some additional tips and tricks in our blog and video section. Until next time, happy manufacturing!